Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Woman on a Journey. If you are new here, my name is Emily and I am going into my second year being a homeschooling mom. So on this channel, usually I talk about homeschool, motherhood, faith, living a healthy lifestyle. So if any of those things interest you, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and click that bell on the side. That'll give you notifications whenever I post new videos. You can also check me out at A Woman on a Journey blog on Instagram and Facebook. You can also visit my blog at awomanonajourney.com. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my picks for science for the 2021-2022 school year. I have not done a full curriculum video. I have decided mostly what we're gonna be using for the new school year. I will only be showing you guys some of it piece by piece. I think specifically for um, reading and for math, I'm going to hold off because I wanna be sure that what I'm sharing with you guys is something that I really wanna actually recommend. I would say around October, I will give you guys an update on whether we've kind of stuck with the phonics curriculum and the math curriculum that I have chosen. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're going to be including video. And so that's why I'm a little nervous about sharing anything just yet because I know like me, a lot of moms, especially if you're a new homeschooling mom, you're looking for advice. You're looking for what's hopefully going to work for your child. And before I recommend anything, I want to share, you know, if it is working and why it's working based on my son and how he learned and be able to be more of a, um, more of a help to you on, on your journey. So let's get to the science curriculum and the resources that we're going to be using for it. So the curriculum that I chose for uh, science is by Masterbooks. It is God's Design Life for Beginners. And the reason why I chose this is because I found it to be simple and simple enough that if days are hard and we can't dig deep into anything, that it kind of gives my son the gist of what he should be learning. And then it helps me also that if there's anything that he wants to dive deeper into, then I can go ahead and do that. So the way this curriculum is laid out is to basically do it four days a week. So what we're gonna be doing is we'll be doing it twice a week and we'll be doing two lessons at a time. Now the lessons in here are very short. Basically the way it is laid out, it starts with learning about what things are alive versus what's not alive. It goes into just more details as far as plants and animals and distinguishing, you know, what we would consider alive or not necessarily alive. It'll go into plant and animal cells. It goes into just flowers, plants, and, and seeds and understanding that there is scripture. This is a, a Christian curriculum. It does have Bible verses throughout it. It does talk about God's creation. It mentions God in here. And so I personally really like that. That's something that I want incorporated in our science. And basically they'll be learning photosynthesis. They'll be learning about things as far as like mushrooms and mosses and all sorts of different things. The creation of life itself. So that basically goes into the human anatomy. And so they'll be talking about the bones, the muscles, the heart, all the different things. And basically how to keep your body healthy as well. And so um, how your respiratory system works. And so I, I really like that the human body is something that my son has been interested in for a really, really long time. This curriculum isn't too much, but it also, it's enough, especially for first grade. Um, there's not much required for them, at least not in my state, for first grade for science. After it goes into the human body, then you're going to go into the different animals and anthropods and things like that. And so that's going to be something that's really interesting too. 
So I'm really excited to see how this works. As far as at, at a glance, there are some little science type experiments that you can do, but they're simple. Most of it are supplies that you can you would have at home or that you can even pick up outside like leaves. But for the most part, it's pretty simple. And so that was another thing. I didn't want a science book that was gonna be giving me all these science projects. Even though my son loves to do science projects, I don't, I don't wanna deal with the mess. So anything that can make it more fun, but also limit how much time we're spending on it um, is a win in my book. <laughs> and now for the resources that I'm gonna be using. What I ended up getting first I wanna share is the Human Body Activity Book for Kids. Now this book, it says hands-on fun for grades K through three. And so this is gonna be really fun to kind of go through. There's all sorts of activities in this book. And so it kind of goes into the different cells. You have activities that you can do as far as drawing a picture of the brain. You can draw muscle cells, you can draw uh, bone cells and things like that. You also have uh, word search activities or word cross, sorry, word cross activities. And you have little mazes that you can do and stuff like that. But everything is revolving around the human body. So this is a fun activity that if we have some downtime one day and um, he wants to do a little bit more, then we can kind of go into this. I'm really excited to um, show him this. I ended up showing him this book or he ended up seeing it when I opened it more. It was more like it. But Utterly Amazing Human Body. I saw this book in, um, it's a DK book. I saw it in Barnes and Nobles, fell in love with it. And I ended up uh, finding it on eBay for much less. I think this book goes for about $17.99 and I only paid about $7 for it on, or $8 for it brand new on eBay. So anyhow, basically in this book, you'll have these lift the flaps and you'll have you know you have the whole human body it goes into the parts of the brain and it's going to be breaking down basically some of the same stuff that he's learning in the curriculum and so he's just going to be able to just see it more clearly in in these pictures i love the pictures i love the fact that for the arm you can move the the arm and flex the, the muscles. So I think that that's really cool. You also have the, the blood cells that you can see, your uh, skin and hair, how your eyesight works. You'll also see, um, you'll have more information as far as smelling and tasting, how our lungs work when we breathe. So there's all sorts of cool stuff in here. Um, they even go as far as sharing how a baby how it takes 40 weeks to to grow a baby inside of the the mother and so that's one of the things he found really cool and he's he's already just looking through this book he's not you know he's still an, a very very early reader but going through this book he was able to look at some of the words he did know and he was able to basically learn a few things already without me being there to help him and so i think this is a really great book I love the DK books and this one is definitely worth buying uh, for sure. The next books that I have are for the animal portion of it. And this book I've had already, this is the National Geographic Little Kids First Big Book of Animals. And so this is a very simple book. This is really great for young kids. Like I would say, you know, even as young as four because there's not a lot of text but the pictures are really, really nice. There's a lot of fun facts here and information, and there's not, there's not too much on a page. We didn't really use it much for kindergarten like I thought we would, but now with this curriculum from Masterbooks, I'm, we're definitely gonna be using it. Another book that I am interested in buying, but I took it out in the library first because I really wanted to look through it was the DK First Animal Encyclopedia. And DK books are just very informative. There's way more information in here about 
different animals and there's way more animals throughout the book um you have just for birds they have tons and tons of birds in here they have information on them nesting and how the eggs are you have all sorts of information as far as different kinds of of mammals and you have the they even have things as far as like breaking down freshwater birds from birds they call life in the air type birds and so you know there's there's a lot of good information in this book and i really like it i love the ocean animals part of it and so i'm really really thinking about eventually getting this book but i'm just gonna hold on to it a little bit longer and as i look through the curriculum and finally make my decision because i'm also not trying to overspend <laughs> and it's so easy if you're a homeschool mom or even if you're a new homeschool mom like it's so easy to want to get all the things and just find everything just amazing <laughs> so that is our pick for science uh for first grade the just to let you know i failed to mention it before but the master books the way they work is the science curriculum is good for age for grades um either kindergarten or first up to third and then they have a more advanced version of that exact book so I, instead of saying god's design life for beginners i think it just says life and um so it goes more in depth and it has more activities and things like that that you can do with your child so if you have older children and you want to consider that that option is there also so that curriculum is not just for um first grade you have it it'll work great if your child's in second and third grade too and then if you have older kids you have the um the curriculum for you have the same curriculum for their age group as well so in the description below, I'm going to link down everything that I have shown you guys. If there are any curriculums that you want to see more in depth, then more of an in-depth flip through or you have any questions about, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you're using for science. If you're doing a unit study, maybe what your favorite science curriculum is. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.